Hi everybody, today we're going to install the DWA-160. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to walk you through the installation of the DWA-160. This is the Extreme N dual band uh, USB adapter. So what's nice about the USB adapter is it'll work for both a laptop or a desktop computer. Uh, there's no, uh, you know, opening the case involved. All you have to do is find a, an open USB port and you're good to go. Um, the nice thing about the DWA-160 in particular is, as I said, it's dual band. So that means it'll work in both the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz wireless bands. So that means that this is going to work with the DIR-655, uh, the 855, the 825, and the DIR-628. So you have a wide variety of routers that this uh, particular adapter will work with. So let's go ahead and open up the package and see what's inside. So inside the package we have the documentation, a uh, nifty little stand, and the adapter itself. Now, before we get started, if you look at the first step on the quick install guide, we need to install the software first. So let's go ahead and do that. After you insert the CD, you're gonna wanna use the top button that says install drivers. Now you're gonna be asked if you wanna change the default directory that the drivers are gonna be installed to. Just go ahead and click next. After a short install, you'll be asked if you wanna manually configure your wireless network or use the pin method. I'm going to configure it manually. Now you'll be asked to either enter the SSID or scan for available networks. So go ahead and click the scan button. Find your network and select it, then press next. Now you'll be asked for the encryption passphrase for your network. Enter that and then click the next button. Now installation is complete, just click the finish button and you're done. Now you can see we're on the internet with no problems. You can connect the USB adapter directly into a desktop or laptop computer, or you can use this little stand to connect into the USB port on your desktop or laptop, then connect the adapter into it. That allows you to put it up onto a shelf or something like that to get more range. Well, there you have it. That's how you install the DWA-160. As you can see, it's really versatile and very simple to install. So that's gonna do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching. Thank you.